Honestly, I had no idea you people are so gaga over word search puzzles. The amount of messages requesting that I cover word search puzzle generation is just wild. So I was wondering, should I make a video about something this generic? I mean, you have so many tools, it's just like the easiest thing you can create is a word search puzzle. So I did my research, I checked the YouTube videos that were uploaded this year, and I must say I am shocked. I'm shocked that so many of you are not aware of free tools and affordable paid tools to create word search puzzles. I also even saw a couple of videos from this year showing you this super long and super weird way of making word search puzzles in Canva. Canva has inbuilt word search creator. Just let me show you. So if you go to Canva, canva.com slash create slash word dash search. Uh, I'm going to link the, I'm going to have a link down below in the video description so you don't have to worry about that. But Canva has a free word search maker. If you really want to do a word search puzzle completely manually in Canva, then you can just use Canva template. That is what that the entire website is dedicated. Uh, this website is dedicated to that. Of course, this is not a word search generator. This is word search creator. So that means they're going to give you templates. They're going to provide you with templates you can use or you can create your own template. When I say template, I mean this everything around and you can put in your own words inside. You can erase a couple of letters, put your own words inside. And that is how you would create word search puzzle in Canva, which to me is absolutely ridiculous and the most complicated possible way you can create word search puzzles when you have so much free tools available. And when I say free tools, I'm not mean just free tools online. I'm talking about free tools that you, that you can use completely fully commercially. So you have full commercial rights, no restrictions. Uh, so that is what I'm going to cover in this video. If you do not want to watch the entire video, if you want to skip the video and just have all the links in one place, I prepared Excel file with all the links. And so I have links of uh, websites that you cannot use commercially that uh, are tricky because they do not say can you or can you not. So you, ha you will have to send them a message. And then I have a couple of links that you are allowed to use fully commercially, so no restrictions. And also I have software that is completely free to use. And I'm also going to mention a couple of paid tools and I'm going to show you uh, what are the benefits of the paid tools and what are you actually paying for. So the link to this Excel file is down below in the description. You will have Excel file and you also have 10 collections of word search puzzles that I generated today using book publisher tools. So that is a paid tool. So I'm going to explain that at the end of the video. Also, for those that stick around to the end, I have a special announcement and showcase of a brand new, unique kind of word search puzzle generator that will be released today. So if you want to stick around, that is what is uh, coming in this video. If you do not want to stick around, but you are interested in generating word search puzzles, the link is down below where you can explore more of what is available on internet. So I'm going to start with online generators that you cannot use commercially. So you cannot use these commercially. And the reason why I'm going to uh, mention them is unfortunately, I have seen so many Fiverr sellers, so many Etsy sellers, and so many, unfortunately, and sadly, Creative Fabrica sellers using these online generators when it is 100% not allowed to use them commercially. The first one is the one that is most commonly used, and it's not allowed, is the Super Teacher uh, Worksheet website. And the reason why I'm going to show you these websites is so, and the reason why I gave you these links is you can check the layout of the puzzle so you don't get scammed. So if you order puzzle word search uh, book from uh, Fiverr, for example, and they send you this, uh, 
this is not allowed so this layout is typical to this website and this is not allowed to be used commercially this is exclusively for teachers for private use inside classroom so this is how they commonly look like so that is this one the next one that is also popular is uh, from discovery education puzzle maker as well this one is popular because it gives you ability to input uh, hidden word inside so there's a mystery word option inside so this one is also not allowed to be used commercially i'm not going to do this for every website just for discovery but each of these websites i'm going to mention they have this statement in no event shall the content be used in any commercial or for-profit manner blah 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 the rest of the terms of service are here so you are not allowed to use this commercially there is absolutely no way even if you pay them because they do not accept any money you cannot use this commercially then we have this one education.com word search generator uh, then we have uh, teacher stuff a to z teacher stuff also not allowed this one is popular because it gives uh, shaped word search puzzles i've seen those as well on a lot of places this one you see that this layout this layout is also from the worksheet uh, works.com not allowed to be used commercially then we have uh, the teacher's corner i've seen these on etsy not allowed to be used commercially i mean you can have your own tools that are paid that you can use commercially and make puzzles such as this one but this layout and everything is and this line here is something that is uh, uh, telling you that this was generated using this generator and it is not allowed to be used commercially then we have this one that is a paid service to create word search puzzles so puzzle.org but it also gives you a business version as well if you want to generate puzzles down below so there is an option to create commercial puzzles but it is a paid service so let's continue this one also gray area they do not state it is not allowed but they also do not give you it is allowed so i would avoid that this one clearly from the look of the website you can see it is for children it is for teachers it is for education so skip that one not allowed to be used commercially i have seen so many youtube videos every single website so far that i shown you they show you how to use these websites where it is clearly stated you cannot use them commercially now this one has advanced word search maker so now we are entering uh, the area of uh, word search puzzle generators that you can use commercially so this one that is free online free access online you cannot use commercially but there is an advanced word search maker so if you click on that it's going to take you here and now you have all these kind of puzzles and you need to pay for the access let me see this one this one the wordsearch.com maker this one is allowing you to use puzzles commercially so this one is okay and i believe this one is also yes it's free to use no ads no watermarks and no registration is required so this is a word search puzzle generator another one that you can use is dictionary.com so this one is also free to use there are no restrictions no terms of service so it is allowed to be used and let's see this one apollo puzzles also it says completely free no restrictions no terms of service uh, in any particular way forbidding you to use uh, to use the word search puzzles that you generate so that was uh, the walkthrough all the links that you have available online and now i'm going to show you a free software that you can use so it is a word search creator.org it generates word search puzzles standard ones and you can also generate uh, in shape as you can see here you can make a shaped word search puzzles as well so this the link to this one is going to be down below so just this not everything else everything else is going to be in that excel file i mentioned 
So I'm going to show you this one with little more information because I believe this one is going to be the most interesting to you. It is of course only Windows and uh, Linux if you have that. It's not available for Macintosh computers. So word search creators. Let me show you how that program looks like. Let me remove the answers. So this is the interface of the software. Once you turn it on, you're going to have the ability to change the width and height. So how many cells in word search puzzle on the right area. And here is where you paste your word list. And now I'm going to explain to you what I said at the beginning of the video, the difference between the paid tools and free tools. With free tools, in most cases, you can generate one puzzle at a time. So one puzzle, one solution. One puzzle, one solution. So that is what you get with this free tool. You need to, you cannot type here 300 words and, and then expect it's going to give you 30, 20, 100 puzzles. It doesn't work like that. The only words that you should type here are the words that can fit in the puzzle. So if you copy paste 300 words here, it's going to take him longer to process that word search puzzle. But at the end, it's still going to generate just one puzzle. So one puzzle, one solution, and then you download it. So if you, uh, if you get a paid tool, the difference between the paid tool and free tool is that in paid tool, you can type, let's say 50, 100 puzzles, click enter, and it's going to generate 100 puzzles with one click. So you save time. So that's the only difference between free tools that are available on internet and paid tools in most cases. The difference is that uh, you have more options to save time and more options to make your puzzle uh, ready automatically so you don't have to do any kind of additional adjustments. So this is a classical word search puzzle. It's a rectangle and the words are down below. Let me show you the settings here under format. You can change text font and you can also change colors of everything. At the beginning, the solution colors are going to be by default shaded blue. So if you click on highlight, you need to click one of the gray shades to change that and click OK. Then you also have a page layout so you can change the page size. So A4, US letter and everything in between. You can also set margins or you can also rotate the rotation. So it can be portrait and landscape. So you can do that as well. And you also can change footer. So here at the bottom, you're going to have footer. You can erase that. So just go to edit footer and do not put anything here and click OK. Or you can type something and click OK. And that's going to become footer here on the bottom. Here you can set allowed directions. So if you click with your mouse, right click, you can select what directions the words can go inside the puzzle grid. So that increases or decreases the difficulty of the puzzle. And this is important, the change grid shape. So this is where you can actually create a shape mask. Now you cannot import your image. So that is something that you get with paid tools. You cannot import your image to get a shape mask, but you can draw a mask manually. And once you draw it for the first time, it is going to be saved and you can use it in the future always. So you only have to draw it once. I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm going to close it. I'm going to show you on another one that I prepared. So that would be this one here. So let's go to word search, change grid shape. So see, this is a use shape mask. So if you click with the left, so if you hold the left key of your mouse and drag, you are actually cleaning up the puzzle grid. So everything that is white, it's going to be a puzzle grid. It's going to be where the words are going to be. And if you hold the right key of your mouse, that means you are erasing part of the puzzle. So let's erase this one, this, 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 and this, and let's click done. You see now this is new shape and I'm going to create, click on create. And now I have a new puzzle generated here. What else? When it comes to fill alphabet, 
You also have an option to use numbers. So you can make with this software, with this free software, you can also make a numbers, uh, not word search, but number search uh, puzzle. And you can also use uppercase, lowercase. So don't get confused if the word search puzzle is in lowercase. You just need to go here and change the settings to uppercase. You can also add letters. So everything that you put here, it's going to be used in the puzzle grid. Let me click on cancel. When it comes to word spaces, this is something that um, you should check if if your word so if um, let's let's put something let's put fruit fruit ball I don't know fruit ball so you see between fruit and ball I have a space and I'm going to click create so let me find fruit ball let me show answer so fruit fruit ball okay do you see here fruit ball and there's a letter V in between because there is a space in between so that setting is here so in case there is a space in a word you have three options you have options to fill space if this is selected it's going to add a random letter in between on the place of that space you can also click here to remove space and this is the most common so it's going to let's click on that let's click create and now you see fruit ball is here in the puzzle list there is a space but in the puzzle actually there is no space here so that is this setting here under word spaces so this uh, uh, this setting is actually ignoring the space in the word list so if you keep it like this it's going to add a random letter in between and i would not recommend that because that is not something that is common for word search puzzles here you can save uh, word search uh, lists of uh, words and here is the list order so whatever you typed here on the right that is original order you can have them sorted alphabetically reverse alphabetical by word lengths and uh, all, from lower to highest and from highest to lowest uh, amount of letters inside so that is what you can do when it comes to word list. So this is completely free tool to use. You can create shape, uh, shaped word search uh, puzzles. The only downside is that you can only create one puzzle at a time. You have to export it as PDF. So the only option is to export it as PDF. Export as SVG it only exports the puzzles, doesn't export the words. So only export as PDF is just going to export entire page uh, normally. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for the for the free tools. If you are interested to finding out more free tools, I would recommend that you go to GitHub uh, website and type word search puzzle generators and then look for the codes you have plenty of free codes there especially python codes that are very easy to adjust and modify if you have any basic skills with python you can go there and try to make some adjustments and generate uh, your own word search puzzle generator as well when it comes to paid tools you have a couple of options some people asked me so I'm now in PowerPoint. This is a puzzle generated with Hans uh, book publisher tools. And this PowerPoint that you see right now in front of you, so you see 300 fruits. Can you find them all? Five volumes for fruits and five volumes for animals, 290 animals. This was generated today on the day I'm recording this video. So there are 10 sets. To five sets of animals and five sets of fruits and they are completely free included in that link down below with the excel sheet so i just want to showcase you why uh, why uh, what is the benefit between the free tool and paid tool it took me what it took me 20 minutes to generate these uh, 10 puzzle books approximately 10 minutes all i had to do is have a list of words and everything else is already preset in, inside the program and I just click enter 
and in under five minutes I had uh, five uh, books generated and everything is here as you can see I have puzzles one puzzle per page and I can change that I can put two three four five puzzles per page and I have solutions so this is already finished book I can add some decorations on top on the bottom but this is what you are paying for when you are paying for a software this is the difference between free and paid because it gives you everything already if you cannot afford paid tools then you can do this manually, but you will have to generate one puzzle at a time. So that's the only difference. So let me go back to the website. So you have Hans. He is, when it comes to price-wise, he is the most expensive one, $147. Uh, that's, uh, if you see uh, a cheaper version, you cannot use that you need to get the version with the time saver add-on so you need to get if you're going to buy this you need to have time saver it's only going to work with the time saver and you have shaped word search here you have all kinds of uh, you see options he also has the ability to put the image some people like this they want to have outline around the word search puzzle so um yeah so that is what you get with the uh, book publisher tool puzzle maker pro the link is down below then you have uh, from um, kdp tools you have word search puzzle generator you can get the free trial version to test it out does it work for you do you like it and the price is 47 dollars and it works inside excel sheet and i know some people asked me let me put a blank let me put a blank slide so i can actually get puzzle generator from look Bows. people asked me why i'm not using the word search generator from look Bows because they know i have puzzle generator now the reason why i use hans uh, publisher tools for my uh, large book was that the hans version gives you option to have mystery word and I wanted to have mystery. That's the only reason why I purchased the Hans Word Search Puzzle Generator is because of the ability to have mystery word. So that means once all the words are found, the remaining letters, they actually make sense. They're not just random letters. But here, the benefit of the puzzle generator by Luke Baus is that you have all these puzzles as well included. So not just Word Search Puzzle generator so it all depends what you are looking for what do you need uh, if you want mystery word then you need to go with hans if you want a simple uh, puzzle uh, word search puzzle then you can use uh, look bows or you can use this from uh, from uh, kdp tools what else i think i found one more i think i found one more where is it this one yes from bear wood star labs i believe this one is the one that's on the on the website word search creator yeah this is the one that that is on on the website so they have a web application to generate word search puzzles and they have powerpoint add-in so that is also an option so i strongly advise you that you think about uh, what are you looking for uh, from the word search puzzle and once you know that it's going to be easier for you to decide what word search puzzle to uh, take uh, either free or paid or if you want to do everything manually like i said you have canva click on here make a word search and once you are there it's going to open a design and here you have templates that you can select you see okay come on internet so you see you have you have plenty of templates that you can use so let's click on summer summer is coming up soon and you also have the answer key so you have it black and white you have it in color and you have answer key so let's click on this one and let's see what can we edit you see you can edit all letters here so this is what is uh, what is meant by uh, changing the puzzle manually and i believe this is tedious job especially if you need 50 or 100 if you just want one or two then it's okay you can use canva 
and create this manually. But if you are actually making an entire book, and this is going to take you forever, absolutely forever, it is then logical that you get some puzzle generator, either free or paid. Okay, what else? We are almost finished, but we are not finished. Now is the time to show you the latest word search puzzle generator that's going to be released today. And that is single word word search puzzle. What is a single word word search puzzle? Single word word search puzzle is special because it has a grid that only consists of letters that are in the word that we need to find. And that word is spelled correctly at only one location. So see here, I'm going to zoom this up. You can pause the video. Try to find KDP here for good luck. Pause the video and try to find KDP on this word search puzzle. And then I have, once again, you can pause the video, try to find passive. If you want to manifest passive income, yes. So passive income. So this word search puzzle, as you can see, has only one word and all the letters are from that word. So this is a unique kind of puzzle. It's a single word word search puzzle or one word search puzzle. It is available starting today as an online uh, application. So it's only available uh, when, with internet. You need to have internet to get to the puzzle generator. And this is how puzzle generator looks like. So once you go to this website, you need to have your monthly subscription active. So it is a monthly based subscription. $15 per month and within those $15 per month you can use the generator unlimited as much as you want and every puzzle that you generate you can use them fully commercially. I'm going to explain something later on about trademark because I know somebody is going to ask about that and I'm going to explain that but let me first show you how to use a single word word search generator. So once you are here, once you are logged in with your data, so you need to use the same email and the key that you got from Gumroad to uh, log in. And once you are here, you can click on this to add words. And here you can type or copy paste list of words. Let's dog, cat, bird. Let's do that. And here you can select how many rows let's go 20 and how many columns let's go 22 puzzle header and footer you can do it without them I prefer without but if you want to keep them you can keep them I'm going to just now keep them so you can see how they look like usually I remove them both and then you can set the font now you have plenty of fonts you can use these are all Google fonts so completely free to use and I'm going to pick this one and the color of the solution and I'm going to pick let's keep it with red but you can pick one of the gray shades if you want to use your own custom font file you can import your TTF file uh, here so if you want to use a custom font file so that's an also option and once you click submit it's going to process those words that you uploaded if you typed like 50, 100 words, I would just let it run, leave it alone. And once it is finished, you can click on download all or you can download in individual files. So this is PNG uh, puzzle. This is PNG solution. This is SVG puzzle. This is SVG solution. So that is how they are layout. So if you click download all, you're going to download all of this in once. So let me just refresh, press on F5, as you can see everything is done and let me download all. So once you click on download all, it's going to give you a zip file. Let's click on save, let's open it up. You see here you have bird puzzle, bird solution, puzzle solution, puzzle solution, so uh, PNG and 
SVG is included. No PDF at the moment, so PDF is not available. You have PNG and SVG. So let's open Bird. So this is how Bird puzzle looks like. This is the uh, header and this is the footer. So if you want to remove this and this, then you need to uncheck that on that setting I just showed you. So that is this one and this one. So let me see the solution for this puzzle. Here you see bird is only spelled correctly here. So that is a very unique kind of word search puzzle. If you are interested in creating these puzzles, you can get monthly subscription starting today it is available. If you are you going to use this one often, I would recommend that after you download, click on delete all. So delete all. So once you download the puzzles, you need to delete them. If you do not delete them in period of 30 days, they're going to delete all by themselves. And that is to keep the system and server decluttered from the puzzles generated. So make sure that after you generate the puzzles, you download them all. Now, let me show you about section because I know this is something that's going to interest you all. So this is a long-term collab project between me and Luke Baus. And I want to also want to emphasize, some of you will probably notice that there is a TM here, trademark. So what does that mean? Now, my, uh, my original idea was uh, to create a brand with single word word search puzzles. So brand that is not meant that I am registering this puzzle. I'm just registering this name like single word word search as a brand so I can use it as a pen name on Amazon. You cannot use keywords in Amazon as a pen name unless it is a registered trademark brand. So I trademark this name single word word search so I can use that name as a brand name as a pen name on Amazon. You are completely free to use these word search puzzles commercially. So it's not a restriction on the puzzle itself. Puzzle is completely free for you to use commercially. The only thing that is trademarked is my pen name single word word search. So if you want to make a brand, that name of the brand is single word word search, you cannot do that. If you want to make a pen name on Amazon, single word word search, you cannot do that. Everything else is completely free. So I just want to make sure that that part is clear, that you do not confuse uh, copyright with trademark. So this is not copyright. Copyright is different. If I copyrighted this puzzle, that means the puzzle is my own. I own the puzzle. It is same like Battleship or uh, which one is also trademarked. Uh, it's not Kalkudoku but Kakuro, something like that. So some of those puzzles, I know Battleship is trademarked. So Battleship is trademarked and you can still create books with that puzzle. You can do whatever you want with the puzzle itself, but you just cannot call it Battleship. So it's same as this, uh, same case here. So you can do whatever you want with the puzzle itself. You just cannot call it single word word search. That's it. If something is unclear, ask me down below in the comments. I will be happy to explain to you because I know a lot of people are not clear on uh, trademark and uh, copyright and stuff like that. But I just want to make sure that you understand that you can use the puzzle. So this is nothing against, uh, this is not preventing you from using the puzzle. I cannot trademark puzzle that I did not uh, generate. It would be a completely different story if this was my original idea, my uh, concept, but it is not. Okay, that's it. I hope this video was helpful and educational. Uh, once again, the link to everything I mentioned here is down below in the description. If you have more questions, ask me down below. If any of the tools I shown today is not clear how to use them, ask me down below. And also my last two videos were on French and Spanish. Some people were confused. The reason why they were on French and Spanish is because some of my subscribers asked me to make videos regarding the subject that was covered in the videos and they prefer French or prefer Spanish. And because most of my videos is prepared 
uh, upon request from my subscribers, it was logical for me to make them on the language they would understand. I included English subtitles and English descriptions, so I believe it's not an issue to anyone else. Have a nice day everybody, stay safe, and until next video, I'll see you down below in the comments. Bye!